I would like you to meet my new favorite thing, this beautiful magic wand from VitaJewel. This magic wand has a very real special power and that is transforming dead water to living water. Let me explain it to you. Water is a crazy thing that scientists still don't even fully understand, but they know that it holds information and that it holds memory. Water actually retains memory. If you were to look at the molecular structure of water in its purest form, so it is just fallen down as clean rainwater, it's in a beautiful stream, and you take that water, you look at the molecules under a microscope. They have this beautiful hexagonal, hexagonal? Hex hexagon-like structure. But for most of us, especially people living in big cities, by the time the water gets to your home from its original source, it has gone through tons of dirty, rusty pipes. It's been filtered and filtered again and chlorine and chemicals are added to it. A lot of these pipes it's going through are at right angles, like angles that you don't normally see in nature. So that's not what water is used to doing. Water is used to flowing. So it goes through all of these crazy things and it's picking up information and it's remembering that process. And by the time it gets to your house, if you were to look at the molecules under a microscope, they're just like, and you can look this up, just Google water molecules, fresh spring water versus household water. It's crazy. So what this beautiful wand does is it's filled with gemstones. The one that I have is emerald and clear quartz. And when submerged in water for at least seven minutes, like so, it actually physically restructures the water molecules. And you're left with this beautiful, smooth, thick water that is supposed to be very similar, if not identical, to that of spring water. And this is scientifically proven that the water molecules change. However, scientists still don't understand really why or how, but they know that it does. So what I notice when I drink gemstone water is it just feels different. To me, it tastes the same. Some people say it tastes different, but I guess it depends what water you're starting with. But it feels thick and it feels smooth. And when I first noticed that, I thought, okay, placebo effect, it's probably just me. I don't know if this is real, but I had my sister try it and she thought the same thing. And so then I gave my sister a taste test. I gave her one glass of regular filtered water using zero water and then one glass of that same water, but it had been charged in here for a while. She knew it right away and I had no doubt. I knew she was gonna know right away because to me, it's just so obvious. And so I have another sister and you can watch what happened. Okay. This one feels thicker. Yes, that that's the one. Whoa, you... that's really interesting. Yeah. So we know that it's changing the structure of the water. I think we can all agree that drinking water that's like pure stream water is gonna be more beneficial than water that is dead. But the actual benefits, I think, have been harder for scientists to prove. People claim that it's healing in all different ways. It gives you more energy. It can help clear up certain ailments. I don't know exactly what those are. I can tell you for me, the main difference that I notice is I feel like it's actually hydrating me. Because before I started drinking gem water, I would drink so much water throughout the day. By the time I go to sleep, I'm still thirsty. So I put one or two full glasses of water next to my bed, wake up during the night, drink pee, drink pee, and finish that water by the time I woke up. What I've been noticing is since I've been drinking gem water, I will go to sleep with water and I wake up and the glass is still pretty full because I only had a couple sips before I went to sleep and I didn't feel the need to drink it throughout the night. That tells me that I'm actually finally hydrating myself, whereas this dead water before was kind of just going right through my system. That's all the proof that I need. So I have now been using this water. I've been giving it to my cat. I've been watering my plants with it. I just feel really good about it. There are so many studies about water, documentaries that are just amazing. If you look into it, you will learn so much and I think you'll be really concerned maybe about the water that you're drinking. So that's why I bought this. Now, I want you to know, first of all, this video is not sponsored. I bought this gemstone vial myself. It was $124. It was a splurge for me and I know that's a lot of money. I know a lot of people cannot swing that. Yes, I'm here to show you the magic of this thing, but really what I want to get across is how important water is and how there are ways to make sure that we're drinking the best quality. So what you can do, you can buy just gemstones on your own, buy one quartz crystal, make sure that it's clean, put it in your glass, and then charge up water that way. I haven't done it that way on my own, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. And the other thing you can do is literally talk to your water. I don't know if you've heard of the scientist, Dr. Masaru Emoto. He was a Japanese scientist who did 
the most incredible experiments with water, looking at the molecular structure of water and how it changes when it's exposed to different types of music, so like rock music versus classical music, or different words. So there are positive words, negative words. It is just fascinating to see how the molecular structure of water changes when exposed to these things. It's crazy, so please look it up. These are real, actual studies. And if you think about it, everything carries vibration. Sound carries vibration, thought carries vibration. So he even exposed water to a group of people who were thinking certain thoughts. So like words like love or words like hate and seeing the difference that that made in the water is incredible. So if you're not able to buy one of these vials, if you don't have access to gems, you really can just speak to your water. And I know that takes intention and it takes effort, but if you don't have access to these things, just talk to your water, think to your water, you know, send it beautiful thoughts, say thank you so much. I'm now filling myself with this beautiful, clear liquid that's cleansing me. That kind of thing can really make a big impact. And to me, that kind of explains why positive self-talk is so powerful. Because if you think about it, our bodies are mostly water. So if water is responding to the vibrations of thought and spoken word, of course our bodies are going to respond to that too. It's all just food for thought. So Vitajoule, again, not sponsored. Vitajoule has these vials that are $124. They also have individual water bottles that come with little gem packs at the bottom. You'll see they have a bunch of different things. And if you wanted to go all out, this is just an Ikea carafe that I'm putting my water in, but they actually sell water dispensers if you want to spend another 300 or so dollars where this vial fits perfectly into it and it's made for that. Look into water, look into all of these experiments, and then just try it out on your own. I think you are going to be really amazed. Okay, bye.